What is going on, YouTube? My name is Lucas. Last night was the NFL Draft, and did we ever witness history? Yes, we did. For the first time ever, the NFL had a virtual draft. So that got me thinking. I wonder, based on this information, what companies are benefiting from the NFL conducting a virtual draft. I started thinking of all the companies that are affiliated with the NFL, and there's gonna be three stocks, three companies, that I think really benefited from having a virtual draft. On top of that, I'm gonna list you a bonus stock. Stay tuned right after this. hype I started thinking last night as I was sitting there watching their draft and just thinking of all the stocks the companies that are benefiting from the only thing that has been on for sports in the last two months was the NFL draft last night so like I said I started thinking all the businesses that are involved with the NFL just think a lot of things had to go in place in order for the draft to just run smoothly Everyone's networks had to be on on point. Everyone's Wi-Fi, whatever you know, network they utilize had to be on point. Uh, all the cameras that had to be distributed to all the players, the coaches, the the GMs, the owners. I mean, the entire thing had to be organized by somebody. From a personal perspective and from a fan standpoint, I do think it went pretty well, um, especially for the circumstances. And it being the first ever virtual draft, I do think it flowed well. Um, I think you were a little bit more connected to the player than usual because you got to not only see the player's story, which I think there were some good stories last night. Obviously, people go through some hard times, some hard stuff. I do think there were some great stories. The amount of companies that are partnered and have their hand on the NFL were on full display last night. And so with that being said, I'm gonna list three companies plus one bonus stock that I feel really benefited from this virtual draft last night. Microsoft is going to be the first company on that list and they're well deserved on that list. Microsoft Corporation and the National Football League announced an expansion on March 3rd. The multi-year expansion aims to help the entire NFL, including its coaches and players. This was on full display last night with the amount of technology Microsoft was able to provide. The array of Microsoft tablets that were being used to stream face-to-face, -face, scout potential draft picks, and even send out some tweets. Many teams utilized Microsoft Teams, the hub for teamwork in Office 365. Microsoft Teams has so many features that were on full display last night. The design to work seamlessly across Windows, iOS, and Android devices. Microsoft Teams brings together chat, calling, meetings, files, document collaboration and workflow into a single app. Rather than use separate apps for those experiences, NFL teams and the entire organization can collaborate and stay constantly and securely connected to Microsoft Teams. Microsoft has been helping the NFL since 2013. Think of when replays were first implemented, the referee would go to the sidelines and he would watch the replay on a Microsoft Surface. Microsoft continues to deliver exceptional performance to the NFL with the Microsoft Surface Sideline Viewing System, or SVS, bringing near real-time images and game data such as down and distance and yard line information. All this is provided to the players and coaches on the sidelines along with the coaches up in the booth. Microsoft Surface Instant Replay brings mobile instant replay to officials on the field helping improve pace of play. With more than 2,000 Surface devices and 170 Windows servers deployed across 35 global stadiums, Microsoft technology powers 333 events each year for the NFL on game day. Beyond the sideline integration, Microsoft works with every NFL team and their partners to develop unique business and consumer facing integrations to deliver real world productivity solutions ranging from Surface devices serving as playbooks, 
to film reviewing being conducted on the Surface family of devices, to in-stadium usage on game days, to business operation teams using Surface devices in their front office, it is clear that NFL teams have embraced Microsoft as a true technology partner. Number two on that list is Anheuser-Busch. Anheuser-Busch always has a major connection when it comes to the NFL and the draft. The amount of people who decided to crack a cold one as they watch teams pick players in hopes your team would make the ultimate splash. On top of that, every year, Anheuser-Busch supplies Bud Light, Budweiser, and, and many other things to the stadiums in order for their fans to have a great experience. It is apparent that the draft is starting because booze rained down on the commissioner, Roger Goodell. So since it is a virtual draft, that would change. Anheuser-Busch used their creativity and technology to still make the booze rain down. Boo! Bud Light asked fans to record their booze on Twitter, then post the video and tag Bud Light with the hashtag BooTheCommish. They will be collecting these booze through Saturday, April 25th. And when all that is said and done, they will donate a dollar for each one to the NFL Draftathon. That's up to $500,000. The Draftathon is a fundraising campaign that is designed for the draft specifically and aimed at raising funds for the COVID-19 relief efforts. The third company on that list is Procter & Gamble. Procter & Gamble's brands include Gillette, Head & Shoulders, Old Spice, and Braun. They will participate in a virtual red carpet since the red carpet presentation is canceled due to the coronavirus. The first three brands listed are also airing ads on ESPN during the show. In addition, Gillette will use the draft to break a new Every Day is Game Day presentation. The Old Spice brand is donating $320,000 or $10,000 on behalf of each NFL team to the United Way. Old Spice is working with draft prospects Chase Young, Isaiah Simmons, Henry Ruggs III, C.D. Lamb, and others for the virtual red carpet. Those four are also doing media interviews with 20 national sports and lifestyle media outlets about the brand's donation. And Old Spice is airing Men Have Skin 2 commercials on ESPN all three nights of the draft and on ABC the first two nights. The final company in this entire list is considered an honorable mention. And yes, this is the bonus company. That company is going to be Disney. Obviously, Disney is struggling with it being impacted so heavily when it comes to the coronavirus. Think about it, it's theme parks are shut down, it's cruise lines are shutting down. There's so much stuff that is impacting Disney. But with the draft taking place, Disney owns ESPN, which was able to make this whole thing happen. From the draft to the interviews to just the entire presentation. This should help a company who has had everything they rely on for revenue except Disney Plus come to a complete halt. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'm hoping you guys are enjoying the draft just as much as I am. I really enjoy this time of the year. I just wish baseball was on TV. As always, if you like the video, smash that like button. It helps out tremendously. And if you enjoy this content, because I'm going to keep the content flowing, subscribe to the channel. As always, have a good day.